Hello, my pretties. I'm going to be doing a quick Divine Feminine read followed by a Karmic Feminine read. Um, I gave you my love, my life, my time. Mine was your own. And you stripped me to the bone. I'm hearing you don't have to worry. I won't waste your time. I am satisfied. Love is made, made of many things. And one of them is trust. Mm, but I can't trust you anymore. The things you say, followed by the things you do, they won't hurt me, no. They won't hurt me anymore. Peace. Mary J. Blonde's been coming up a lot lately. That's crazy because I just said one of the reads turn Mary J. Blige off. I think that was in Cancer or Pisces. <laughs> one of the water signs. Hey, did I do Scorpio? Let me see. They won't hurt me anymore. Yeah, I did. And that come brings us to the energy of peace. Listen, another thing that I'm picking up too. So, okay. So first, let's just start off the, the energy divine feminine is in. Very peaceful, okay? Making choices to release certain things. Figuring out, picking your battles. You know, I feel like with that energy of, um, I can't trust, but I don't trust you anymore. Things you say, followed by the things you do. They won't hurt me. And then I'm also getting that, um... I got no, I'm not going to cry energy. I'm not going to shed a tear because you lied. Because you were never worth my tears. Somebody is choosing not to be upset about a situation anymore. Not to let some sort of trauma that someone has inflicted upon them. Or this, uh, you know, at the time that they rubbed elbows with them. And I feel like it was a very long time. You're not allowing this person, this place, this thing, or nothing to traumatize you anymore. Because you are realizing that if it lived rent-free in your head... You giving it um energy and you're keeping it alive. Okay. <laughs> Some of you guys sustained a particular lover, okay? Um financially, and now you're sustaining them energetically. I feel like they may have stolen energy from you, uh, but also um you're you were allowing them and, and and I think you're realizing that now because you're like I said allowing them to live rent free in your head or pain their mind so to speak okay energy is currency and I feel like you've been um paying this person okay show me peace I gave you something going on with a with a person with a, with, a, with, a, with one of y'all children's speech or something like that it feel like or some of y'all whatever speech um, like they say it's something they shouldn't be saying. I don't know if they being disrespectful or what could be being bad at school acting up, or they could be uh, more quiet than normal usual. And you know, it to be a spiritual attack on your, on your child. Okay. Um, that child is protected. However old they may be or whatever it is specifically that they are going through. I feel like you have been praying for this child. Um, and they're going to be all right. For, for whatever show me peace i see you here coddling your child you know what i mean there could be a, a a child here that may be i heard elementary elementary that could be sleeping a lot or something like that and it's just like somebody is not worried about a person you don't have to worry your time I am satisfied somebody felt like a person somebody name is Fred or something like that Hannah Helga somebody saying like you don't want to be bothered with me I ain't gonna bother you um somebody is over another person one of my divine feminists is over another person over the thought of them over what they did to them over them over them over them over crying about them, over it, over it. 
four of cups. Like I, I feel like this could be this could be a situation where now this person want to f with you, or now they want to get it right, or pretend to get it right, or some shit like that. You, I feel like you're not worried about reciprocity from this person. It's like she says, love is made made of many things. One of the mistrust, mm, but I can't trust you anymore. The things you say. Follow by the things you do. Somebody dealing with a narcissist. Somebody is, 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 is noting that like whether you come back and act right or do right or apologize or whatever, the, whatever, whatever it is. It's like I still can't trust you. So I heard obsolete. So you, so so I like it's like it's dead. It's dead. Like no matter if this person turned around and, and gave you all the apologies that you deserved and, and may have wanted at one point in time. It's like I can't do shit with it because you ain't shit. I don't trust you. I gave you my love, my life, my time. Mine was your own. And you stripped me to the bone. Look at you here praying, staying faithful. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I feel like this person may be watching you. Look, look, look. He, he trying to offer her something. Her arms is folded. Somebody could have even came and offered you something on an astral in a dream or something like that because I've been picking that up too. It's like, fuck you on all dimensions. <laughs> Word. Fuck you on every dimension. On all spaces and times. <laughs> okay? As in heaven and on earth. You can go to hell. <laughs> Word. That's what I'm getting. It's all respectfully. It's just like, you know what I mean? It's just like somebody saying like, get out of my face. Forever. No, that's a worry. This is self-love. And that been coming up a lot too. You found some new, some new found self-love and it's just like you can't be effed with now. Like, it's different ways to love yourself. You know what I mean? This one right here is like, this is this is that piece of the, of the puzzle that you needed to really catapult you into healing um, from whatever the traumatic experience this is. Yeah. Show me. I hear you telling this person like you can't come with me. I don't think you're saying this physically. I just think it's just y'all communication. <laughs> what I say. You it, it don't have to be physically, but it could just be like energetically. Like you cannot come with me. Also, you can't sit with me, Divine Feminine. I'm here. I'm hearing you like you cannot sit with me. Even if if you wanted this person to sit with you, they just can't. They don't match your vibration. They ain't hitting on what you hitting on. They ain't about what you about. They don't play for the same team. They don't have the same morals. They lack integrity. Bye-bye is what I'm hearing. Bye-bye. Oh, game over. Bye-bye. Oh, 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 oh. You lose. Yo, I want to do a reading on um on that. Cause I kept hearing this was this was before my vacation. I kept hearing Chun Lee say. That, 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 that's that, that's that. Like when she win, when you ever play um Street Fighter and and ha 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 and Chun Li like laughs or something like that in the end. That's what I'm hearing, and I'm gonna do a reading on that. I'll do it after this, even though I've been reading all day. Why is that my business? I feel somebody being body shamed. Yo, you know what they telling me? Somebody look like a turtle or something like that. But like, they telling me like, this is the second time I heard somebody look like a turtle. But they telling me like, somebody came to you and said something about your back fat. I heard Chichos. The person could be, um... Latin or something like that. 
And you like, look who's talking. Look who, look who, look who got an opinion. Oh, yeah, hair messed up. Or something like that. Like somebody telling you something like, you like, who the fuck, like. Men be doing this a lot. I don't, I don't, I don't be getting it. Like. Got a lot to say about looks. But anyway, uh, what I'm getting is the reason why this person talked down on you is so you could feel down about yourself and you wouldn't know how great you was. But when you consider the source, and I've been saying this for a long time, consider the source, the turtle telling, telling, telling the beautiful mermaid some shit. And it's just like, you don't even have a back. <laughs> don't tell me nothing about my back fat or my, my, my love handles or whatever the case is. Like, you don't even have, bye, okay? A critic with no credentials. Okay. I heard a snapping turla. Somebody ugly. God forgive me. Somebody ugly and got the nerve to be like they're not a looker. Put it like that. I'm not gonna say ugly because I'm correct politically. But uh somebody funny looking and they had the nerve to comment on your looks. And they did it purposely. I don't know why I just heard propaganda. Somebody's ignoring another person. And taking pleasure in it too. And maintaining their purity. Because with this energy of fulfillment. It's like I know with the inner knowing. I have everything that I need to make myself happy. Somebody is no longer. Um, I'm hearing I'm down on bending knee. I feel like you beg this person to do right. Or beg this person to let you love them. For what? Somebody, um, somebody realizes that they're better off alone or they, they could do bad all by themselves or a lot of the stuff that, 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 that the person said to talk down on them was just a, a way to systematically oppress them. That's what narcissists do. One of the reasons why I thank God for the internet is because even though there's a lot of toxic shit that can go on there, the, the, the information about narcissists, I remember the first time that I found information about narcissists and it perfectly explained a few people um, that was in my life and also some traits that I exhibited growing up, okay? And I was like, oh, wow. Broke it down, where it comes from, how it gets there, how sometimes it's generational, all this, all this shit. How they, how the systems that they use, their tactics, everything like that. You figured this out, but it's resonating and sizzling in your spirit in a different way right now. And it's giving you power. And I, and I, mwah, chef's kiss, divine feminine, <laughs> chef's kiss. Yo, I, um, I know I don't want to get on my feminine, my feminist stuff. I told y'all how I feel about women <laughs> and how I feel they are superior, okay? And can't nobody tell me different. Not because I'm a woman, but because I have eyes, <laughs> okay? And I'm tapped in. Judgment, okay? Judgment in the three of cups. Somebody says, all I really want is to be happy. And 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 and, and they're able to, whoever I'm, the divine feminists that I'm speaking to have found happiness within themselves. Okay? And it also came from understanding um, that you could never do enough for another person or that, you know, they can't sit with you or that, they're emotionally unavailable and, and there's nothing you could do about it. Okay. Don't save him. He don't want to be saved. Don't save him. I'm hearing, I'm, I'm hearing Beyonce say, if you leave me, you out of your mind. If you leave me, you out of your mind. And see, this is why somebody will want to keep you small, not knowing who you are and what you're worth. Because you wouldn't even waste time trying to prove things to them or waste time trying to get them to act right. 
or waste time, period. Or know that you was valuable enough for your time not to be wasted. Judgment in the three of cups. Somebody is 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 receiving a, a, a love from within that is um it makes you unrecognizable to this person. <laughs> I don't know why I'm hearing doe a deer, a female deer. Ray, a drop of golden sun. Me, a name I call myself. I don't know what that song is about, but I'm hearing it. Yeah, moving forward. Row, row, row your boat gently down the street. Somebody just had a baby. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. You could be singing to this baby. Somebody chooses to no longer look at the past. Somebody wear a coloscopy bag, if I'm saying it right. There's a man here who got severe acne or something like that. And it feels like he mad or something. Like, he mad. And it's, this, this could be, like, you know what I was saying earlier. Like, a man with severe acne looking at you, telling you, like, oh, you breaking out. And it's like... You got bigger fish to fry, okay? Something like that. But saying it in a way where it's rude and, and they want to bring you down while they got a face full of pus bumps. You understand know what I'm saying? This man has gut issues. Whoever this is. Hmm. Somebody did something to play on your feelings. And I feel like the minute that you uh, wasn't playing their game no more is when they ran is to when they ran back to you. What I said, dreaming. I told y'all, I feel like this is spiritual communication that this person is is doing. Trying to offer you things in a dream state, saying sorry in a dream state, um, loving you, doing things in a dream state that they would not normally do. Artificial feelings. <sighs> Somebody may want to work with castor oil and do like, um, is it liver packets? I mean, liver packs, castor oil packs, I mean, and put it like on your liver or your kidney. I forgot which one it is, but you know, you may want to do that if you're suffering from like acne or um, you know, any go and look up the health benefits of castor oil is what I'm is what I'm getting from somebody. Can even help with weight loss, okay? Oh, I was gonna say that that guy, the the, the man, the man that I'm picking up, need a colonoscopy. Somebody wants to sway your judgment. And um, alter your decisions. They want you to feel like, yeah, with the energy of dive deep. They want to um, want you to feel like the decision that you made to leave them alone was a wrong decision. And that's a lie. They want to play in your head. Forgiveness at the bottom of the deck. Like I said, somebody wants your forgiveness. They don't even, I don't even feel like this person is asking for it. Uh, physically, I just feel like they want you to come bring it to them. Ain't that some shit? Ain't that some shit? One thing a, nar a narcissist do, like, eh, that boggles my mind is like, if you so manipulative, why don't you ever change up your playbook, your rule book? Why are you so predictable? A real master manipulator is unpredictable. <laughs> okay? Predictable when they need to be. Right? When it serves them, but unpredictable. When it serves them as well. This person game is played out. They need to update their playbook. You already got them figured out.
I don't know about y'all, but you know, whenever somebody playing games with me and I figure this shit out, it's like, I might play it for a little while, but then I always like dispose of them. Like afterwards, like, ah, I get bored fast. <laughs> I get bored quickly. Okay. Strength in the page of wands. Somebody is trying to like really manipulate you and then I feel like they trying to strong arm you and then look from afar and see if it's working. Could be astral, use an astral projection or something like that. Here you are with death and the devil. Like somebody, this, this, it could be a Capricorn and a Scorpio involved. Like you, you literally like, uh, who, who goes there? Like your sword is up to this person. And I feel like you letting them know, like, I know you an enemy of, of mine. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you can't come back, period. I just heard this person don't know whether they want to fuck or fight. Look at this. King of Cups with the traitor and the five of swords at the bottom of the deck. And one of them is trust. Mm, and I can't trust you anymore. The things you say. They won't hurt me anymore. Somebody tactics is old and they washed up. Gave you. Let's see. So what I look look at that at the bottom of the deck. Caught up. Someone's actions are catching up to them. Come on now. It's like I said, somebody's actions are catching up to them. I cut the deck. The skeleton secrets are about to be revealed. Like I feel like you look at this person in disgust now. If you even look at them. <laughs> if you even look at them. Like you wrote this person all. Something may have happened during Thanksgiving. I'm feeling a reach out. I don't know if this person uh, reached out to you. Uh, physically or what but I, I told y'all in another read i got like a hey big head energy or like a happy thanksgiving like if you don't get your job turkey ass off my telephone you look at this person as a joke and and they and they thought they would never see the day look at this cuffing season Time for relationships are coming up in new view. This could be somebody you always allow in your home or in your life or between your legs when it got cold and it's time to lay up. You know how they say pick your favorite liar and lay up with them? Yeah, this person thought you was going to pick pick them. They fa Your favorite liar. This person could be born in the month of December. Yeah, look at this. Stubborn someone is very stuck in their ways. Like I feel like this is a person that don't have no New Year's resolutions. <laughs> They feel like they're already perfect. Something may happen on, on New Year's Day or Eve. Look at this. Therapist. Someone needs to visit a therapist. Halloween. I don't know what's all these. these uh... This could be a person that misses you on holidays and certain things transpire in their psyche during holidays. Or they reaching out to you spiritually during holidays and wanting you to um wanting you to need them or something like that or reach out to them. This person was evil eyeing your purpose. I just heard Legoland. This person was evil eyeing your purpose. I don't like it. I don't like it. I just heard lying under oath. You must have, you, you, you probably thought, I don't know, cleanse your mirrors, okay? Get the house cleansing bundle, y'all. I feel like this is like scrying. I feel the energy of scrying. This person could have made you feel like you, um, you wanted to, um, you know, be intimate with them. Like they could have overwhelmed you and bombarded you with sexual energy. Um, sending it at you. I feel like through, through doing mirror magic or something like that or projecting it on you. You know what I mean? And, and, and it wasn't really your thoughts. Somebody's saying, I'm out of here. I don't care how many. I feel like you let this person go and, and they friends. They family, your friends that was connected to them, any mutual friends. Like, I feel like you let the whole pantheon. What is it? I feel like you let the whole, the lot of them, okay, go. 
period. And you felt better after the fact. This could be co-workers of, of, of yours that's cool with them still. Uh, college mates, whatever. Somebody got a big, what you call it? It's thick too. Sheesh. I'm seeing somebody, and I keep seeing this person wear like a um a ring around they thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, for pleasure. Or or ribbed condoms. I feel child, somebody got a, a a a thick one, a mighty mighty thick one. <laughs> Oh, that can fuck with your emotions too as a woman. <laughs> yeah, somebody saying, I don't care how big your thing is. I'm moving forward. Somebody knows that this is a devil. Somebody might want to get the devil dick washed. Or uh, the Devil Dick Bundle. Okay, and I've been picking that up a lot too. Get the bundle because it comes with that red ribbon that I've been seeing um, in these readings. Um, I feel like this person don't know what they want. Like, this person has everything to offer you but true love. Like, hard dick, bubble gum, arguments, fights, big dick. You know what I mean? Like, nothing you need. Nothing you really need. I feel like all you ask, you know, one of them is trust. Mm -hmm. I can't trust you anymore. You moving forward towards a better opportunity. I feel like this person was looking at you as an opportunity, very much so an opportunist. Okay, you see them for who they are, and they got to go. They're not taking it well. I just heard cancer. They're not taking it well. You focusing on the opportunities, like I said, that God has to offer you with the opportunity, focus, and be spontaneous. I feel you um, expressing yourself creatively, okay? I feel like this person, yep, breaking free and healing chaos just came out. I feel like this person stunted your growth as an artist or as, you know, uh, as it pertains to your career and your life purpose. And that was their job. We just saw, and I told y'all that they was evil eyeing your life purpose. Evil eyeing your life purpose. They thought they was going to play you like a fiddle. And they did. But now, you know, you at the other end of the fiddle. And I feel like you're not even choosing to play. Like, I feel like you're not even choosing to play. This is hurting their ego. This person's ego is hurt. They trying to figure out how you were so uh, in love or whatever. Or they had you so caught up. And you just broke free like that. And it's because you healed the part of yourself that, that was, uh, you know, uh, an empty void where they were residing. You understand what I'm saying? That empty void that they was playing off of. You healed that trauma. Now it's no room for them. Point blank and period. Mm. Divine Feminine, you eating them up. Eating them up. <laughs> and it happened from within. Okay? And it happened from within. So I hope you guys are proud of yourselves. And I know you are. And I feel it. You might be getting, you might be, you, you, y'all know I don't like that statement. I'm proud of you, but you might be, um, hearing that statement coming from them. And it's like, what the fuck? What, 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 what do I care? What you proud of? Man, I like a loser telling you I'm proud of you. You're a loser. You should be proud of pretty much anything. You should be impressed with pretty much anything. More than what you got or are, whatever. Truth. You see this energy of truth? The truth is within. You see her reflection? The truth that you found out was always within. And I'm telling you, this shit is beautiful. It, 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 I feel something going on with your root chakra too. Yeah, grief and cosmic power. What did I tell y'all? What did I tell y'all? With this energy of cosmic power. You healed grief with, 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 by, by reaching deep down in your solar plexus. 
and fixing it, whatever it was. And God, did, I, did, I did a reading like this. Look, betrayal at the bottom of the deck. Betrayal. I feel like you was letting that betrayal run, 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 running your mind over and over and let this person live rent free in your head and you fixed it, y'all. And I'm so happy for y'all. So happy for y'all. Who is on this? Y'all look her up. She a spirit, they say. It's like magic, y'all. This was magic and protection. This is beautiful. This is the best. This is the best type of protection you can have. You know, something that comes from within. You know, a beauty that can't be taken or something that can't be taken from you. It's not tangible. It's a different type of understanding, a download, um, you know, that's resonating in you. Like, you can't take this away from me. It's healing is what it is. And you can't take it away from me because you didn't give it to me. I lived through this. I did shadow work. I figured some shit out. It's mine. You know what I mean? And this person is mad. Ooh, they hot. They hot. You done fucked up the church's money. You fucked up their money. Literally fucked up their source of energy. I mean, they just can't. They cannot hold you. They cannot hold you no more. Leadership. Look at you taking control of yourself and go with the flow. Somebody trusts so much in the divine that they don't really care about nothing that's going on. That's that peace. It's inner. It's inner peace. It's inner peace. Everything around you don't got to be quiet. And you figuring that out. Shit around me don't have to be quiet for me to have inner peace. It could be chaos around me. And I and I and I and I and I'm peace be still. Cause it comes from within. Ooh, child. What I say with the energy of flexibility. Damn, y'all. Y'all some woo. Happiness. I remember um that's not nice. So okay. I remember that um, an elder, okay, uh, that was related to someone who I dated told me, um, and this was profound and has always stuck with me, okay, um, that happiness is a choice. And at the time when she told me, I didn't fully understand it, but I knew that it made sense. And so I was committed to understanding it. And I understand it more and more as I get older. I believe she told me this in my early 20s. I understand it more and more as I get older. And I love this for y'all. All right, y'all, let me go. I'm going to look up on Nancy because I never heard of this spirit. She, and she's interesting to me. Go ahead, Devon family. You did the damn thing. 